Um, there's more than trouble. I mean, they're clearly getting divorced. Um, they are selling uh, their family home that they bought. Um, ben has moved out. She, we know there are rumors and speculations about Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck heading for divorce. The whispers and speculations have been circulating, and we can now explore what might have led to this unexpected turn. Stay tuned as we uncover the incidents and revelations that contributed to this dark chapter in their relationship. This year has been particularly rough for Jennifer Lopez. Despite her superstar status, she's been hit with numerous professional setbacks that seem to mirror her personal struggles. Her movies are failing to draw crowds at the box office, and she had to pull the plug on her world tour due to personal issues. To make matters worse, there have been multiple videos circulating of her and Ben Affleck arguing publicly. Given all these factors, it's no wonder people started to question Question what was really going on behind the scenes. Ben and Jen had first sparked divorce rumors when she attended the 2024 Met Gala alone. And then people started to realize that the couple had not been photographed together in more than a month. At this point, I'm starting to feel bad for Jennifer Lopez because she and Ben Affleck are officially divorced. Well, it's over. They're headed for a divorce. And for once, Ben's not to blame. Very public arguments only made things worse. Everyone noticed how visibly upset J-Lo appeared while Ben seemed comparatively composed. It became evident that serious issues plagued their relationship, sparking widespread gossip. Now with news of them putting their mansion up for sale, it's a glaring indication that their relationship is over. Selling their $60 million house wasn't just a financial transaction, it symbolized their readiness to part ways. Once a beacon of their family unity, the mansion now serves as a stark reminder of their failed marriage. Indeed, the news of the sale fueled even more speculation and discussion among people eager to uncover the reasons behind their breakup. The decision to sell their house sent shockwaves through their fan base and beyond, prompting reflection on the intricate dynamics of love, fame, and the sacrifices necessary for personal happiness. We have learned that JLo and Ben are quietly selling their $60 million Beverly Hills mansion that they just bought last year. If you guys remember, they spent two years looking for a marital home. They even viewed over 80 properties, eventually settling on this one. Well, now they're looking to cut ties with them. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck Affleck's relationship faced many issues because of their different lifestyles and interests. Insiders mentioned that J-Lo, accustomed to fame and the attention it brings, struggled to separate her private life from her public persona. Ben, on the other hand, valued his privacy and found the constant media attention overwhelming. Their problems intensified as they juggled their demanding careers with their personal lives. J-Lo thrived in the spotlight, while Ben craved a more private life, leading to a major conflict in their relationship. This clash became apparent when Jennifer released her documentary, revealing the difficulties they faced. Ben openly discussed the challenges of being in such a public relationship. He deeply cared for J-Lo, but disliked the constant attention they attracted. Ben's discomfort with their public life underscored a significant issue. He preferred privacy, while J-Lo enjoyed sharing parts of their life with fans. Their differing views on fame and privacy led to significant problems in their marriage. The situation reached a boiling point when Jennifer Lopez shared with songwriters the private love letters Ben Affleck had written to her, using them as inspiration for her upcoming album, This Is Me, now showing the book to the to the producers that I was going to work with and say we're going to make this album this song was the greatest love story never told which was inspired by that gift that Ben gave me Ben was reportedly taken aback by this revelation. He had intended those letters to be a private expression of his love, not material for public consumption. This incident underscored their fundamental differences regarding privacy and public exposure. And then Ben is interviewed during this later and he's kind of like yeah, she didn't tell me about it. Did I really get back with this crazy bitch? Jennifer Lopez has always thrived in the spotlight, leveraging media attention to boost her career and brand. However, this love for the limelight clashed with Ben Affleck's preference for a more private, low-key lifestyle. Insiders revealed that Ben's discomfort with J-Lo's high-profile existence and the relentless media scrutiny created significant tension between them. Their contrasting views on media exposure only exacerbated the issue. J-Lo saw it as essential for her career and public image, while Ben wanted to avoid the glare of publicity. This fundamental difference underscored deeper issues regarding their personal boundaries and relationship management. The situation worsened when Ben chose not to accompany J-Lo to the premiere of her latest project, sparking rumors of trouble in paradise and suggesting a growing rift between them. When questioned about her marriage, J-Lo's responses hinted at underlying strain and discomfort, despite her attempts to remain composed. It became evident that her personal life was taking an emotional toll, prompting fans and the media to scrutinize her every word and gesture for clues about her relationship with Ben. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. You know better than that.
Yeah. The tide began to turn against Jennifer Lopez as more stories emerged about her alleged negative behavior. Megan McCain, a former host on The View, publicly criticized J-Lo, suggesting that her tough personality might be contributing to her marital problems. McCain shared that meeting J-Lo was one of the worst experiences of her career, hinting that the singer-actress's private demeanor starkly contrasts with her polished public persona. Most viewed TikTok we have is me admitting that uh, J-Lo coming on The View was not my favorite by a lot she just is a deeply unpleasant person and had a huge i said this on the fork she had the biggest entourage i've ever seen coming on a show for like a 10 minute segment like as myself as someone who's been invited on shows for 10 minute segments just fake it till you make it for 10 fucking minutes following mccain's comments more people including celebrities and former co-workers started talking about j-lo's alleged diva behavior entourage demands in difficult attitude. Their accounts suggested that despite her talent and hard work, J-Lo might struggle to get along with others, which could be affecting her marriage with Ben Affleck. Jennifer Lopez has had a series of quick, high-profile relationships. She married Ojani Noah in 1997, but it lasted only 11 months. She then dated Sean Diddy Combs, married Chris Judd, and was engaged to Ben Affleck in the early 2000s. Afterward, she married Mark Anthony, got engaged to Alex Rodriguez, and eventually reunited with Ben Affleck, often with little time between relationships. This this rapid succession of relationships has sparked discussions about JLo's possible need for constant love and companionship. Some experts suggest she might have love addiction, where one seeks relationships to fill an emotional void or avoid personal issues. Her quick rebounds and intense romances seem to fit this idea, raising questions about whether her need for love is hindering her ability to maintain long-term relationships. Critics argue that JLo's habit of quickly falling in and out of love might prevent her from fully dealing with personal challenges. This pattern could also strain her marriage with Ben Affleck, as the intensity of their relationship may be hard to maintain over time. The love addiction theory proposes that a perpetual quest for new and thrilling relationships can make it difficult to invest the effort and compromise needed for a lasting partnership. According to TMZ, J-Lo and Ben Affleck are selling their marital home and headed towards divorce. As TMZ has previously reported their marriage is in deep trouble, Ben has already moved out of the house and moved into a rental in Brentwood. Things really heated up when Ben Affleck decided to leave the house he shared with Jennifer Lopez. It wasn't just a move to a new place. It was a clear sign that their relationship was done. Ben opted to live near his ex-wife, Jennifer Garner, and their kids, showing that being a dad was his top priority. This move highlighted how things had gone wrong between Ben and J-Lo. While Jennifer Lopez stayed focused on her career in the public eye, Ben's move showed he wanted to focus on his family and himself. It became clear they had different priorities and values, and no matter how hard they tried, they couldn't patch things up. Have a good day. Yeah, you got it. When news of their divorce spread, the internet exploded. Social media was flooded with comments and opinions from fans and critics alike. People took sides and debated what went wrong in their relationship. Many blamed J-Lo for the marriage falling apart, saying she was too demanding and always craving attention. Some argued her high-profile lifestyle and constant media attention clashed with Ben's desire for privacy. Others pointed to J-Lo's history of quick rebounds and intense relationships as potential factors. But there were also defenders of Jennifer Lopez, who felt she was unfairly targeted. They highlighted her hard work and the sacrifices she made for her family, criticizing the media and the public for judging her based on stereotypes in past relationships.